my name is Beth. Um, I've decided to start this YouTube channel for beauty and lifestyle videos. I definitely considered doing this video in like full face of makeup, hair done, cute outfit. And then I just realized that's not really me. I really, I want it to be real. This is literally my hair. It's been air drying for a few hours now. Um, mini introduction to who I am. My name is Beth. Obviously, most of the people who are watching this know me in real life. Um, my name is Beth. I'm 18 years old. I have a complete obsession with makeup. I just love every aspect of it. Um, this video is just going to be as an introduction. I'm just going to be talking. It's going to be very chit chat. I can already tell it's going to be super long. Hard to edit. Ugh. Okay. I'm just going to be talking and doing my makeup for you guys. This is literally like, okay, my makeup changes all the time. I kid you not. It's so hard to stick with one routine. But more recently, I've been sticking to this routine. I think probably for about a week now. That's an improvement for me. So, I'm going to be showing you guys what I've been doing with my makeup for about a week. Um, bear with me, because I literally suck at, like, holding a mirror and making sure you guys can see me and doing my makeup at the same time. I usually end up going like this. Okay, that's a really not cute picture. Okay, <laughs> let's just get on with it. Yeah, okay, enough rambling. I've already moisturized my face. As per usual, I just use the Clinique Dramatically Different. I had my little toesies then, um, so I'm not really worrying about contacts. Plus, I'm still waiting for mine to come back in the mail. Um, but yeah, so I'm not really worried about having my contacts on. But it does affect the way, oh god, I can't see anything. Um, it does affect the way makeup wears, so. Oh! Oh! Don't you love filming on your bed? Okay, honestly though, real talk, the only reason I'm filming on my bed is because I love the way my background looks. I just, I work so hard to make this, my bedroom like this, like, just so, I don't know. I'm going with Benefit Professional, this is fave. I love it so, so much, um, but I really like to focus this bottom. Gosh, I should not talk while I do my makeup. I use tissues all the time to wipe off my makeup. I don't like the feel of makeup on my hands. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna take the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. Okay, I'm, I feel like this is such a joke. I'm not using the e.l.f. contour kit in this look. I don't really contour on a daily basis. I bronze a little bit, um, but literally I just love this because the mirror is so great. I'm going to take my trusty little beauty blender just to blend that out. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. I don't use this for age rewind purposes. It's just a really, really great concealer. This is my third tube of it. Um, yeah. Okay, whoa, whoa. I forgot to tell you what I was doing and I like it stopped midway and it went everywhere. Okay, I'm using the Ben 9 Neutral Set Colorless Powder, and I literally just take it in my Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder, like the cap of it, I just, just tap it into there, because I end up using that powder as well, but I do, I like the cap of this. Okay. I'm going to take it on Beauty Blender again. I don't necessarily bake, but I do set my under eyes with powder and then I kind of just leave a little bit of excess on and deal with it after like a few seconds. That 
that's done. Now we're going to go into a brush. I'm just going to set the rest of my face. And as you can see, like I kind of dust that and then take whatever's left from my under eyes and blend it in with the rest of my face. Because I had so much powder on my lid, I'm di I didn't end up using the Rimmel Stay Matte. Um, I've obviously used the heck out of this. Next thing I'm going to use is the Essence Pure Nude Highlight. I like a lot of glow. This I'll use on like super natural days. It's just really pretty and glowy and natural and I like it. It just gives some life back to my face that is removed when I like set my face like set my face so much with the Ben Nye. The Ben Nye is definitely like a mattifying powder. And um I want that life and glow back on my face. I do have dry skin, so this is kind of like a necessity. Okay, see like, it's not like a highlighter. It's like, like a powder that I would almost set my face with. The next thing I do is bronzer. Um, like I said, I don't contour it every day. This is just the, this is just the Physician's Formula Bronzer. This is their butter bronzer. It smells buttery, just believe me on that. Okay, the butter bronzer is in the shade light cause, cause I'm light. I'm a light skin, no, I'm not, I'm definitely pale. Butter bronzer and I just apply it. I don't know, like I just bronze. Um, this brush is dense and the reason I use a dense brush when doing this is because this bronzer is seriously, it's, it's so light and so natural and so like barely there that you can do whatever with it. It's like, it just chills and it looks so good. Like, I love it, okay? I, it might not work for deeper skin tones. However, I do think they have other shades. But phys we all know Physician Formula sucks with their shade range. Holy moly, they suck with shade range. And I'll take my elf powder brush again and just like blend, 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 blend. Love blending, I love blending, especially with soft brushes. Like, soft brushes are nice. Okay, next I'm going to take another Physicians Formula blush. This is the Butter Blush in Plum Rose. I do have both of, I think they only came out with two shades. This one's just more natural and I like it. I'm taking the e.l.f. Flawless Face Brush. Hey, this has a mirror, I don't have to have the problem. Just kidding, that's a sucky mirror. Look how tiny that is. No, nope, 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 nope. We're gonna use my handy dandy knee again. I'm actually really, I've discovered I'm really good at balancing things on my knee. Go me, okay. I'm just gonna apply that on my cheeks. Obviously, it's quite a natural blush. Um, it's literally just like a mauve tone. It's so pretty though. You will probably not be able to tell on camera that it's there, but I promise you it is. And I promise you it's super pretty. Now onto possibly my favorite part. I'm gonna take Max Minerals Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. This has been my highlighter for like, like I've been using this religiously for quite a while now. Like, it's just really good. I like it a lot. Okay. Wah! Okay. Wah! We're good. Okay. Taking this, and we're just going to apply it. I hope you guys, I don't know if you guys can see this. I do also put it above my brow. Um, I kind of put this everywhere because I have dry skin, not oily skin. I can pretty much get away with applying a lot of highlighter and not looking crazy. Okay, brow time. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Okay, on to setting spray. These are the setting sprays that I use. I use the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And then I have my NYX Dewy Finish. So what I do is I'll take this. I'm not going to talk during this because I've learned my lesson. Okay, shake it, shake it, shake it. And then I go have a shower in it like that. Free love of stuff. Ooh, it's, I got all of my legs. It feels so good. Okay, um, and then I'm going to take the NYX Dewy Finish. Two hours later. I'm going to take the Benefit Roller Lash.
All done. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, that's basically it. This is my natural makeup. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, leave video requests, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Follow my beauty Instagram. And yeah, just let me know if you guys have anything you want. That's it. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.